everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thanks so much for joining us on today's video. Listen, this is a survivor video, right? We're not talking about just me. I am a survivor. I'm an antique, tired, old. This, however, is nothing like that, right? This right here is one cool piece of history. This is in the top 10 lowest production cars we have ever had. Uh, it's believed to be, I know that we did the math and things like that here to get to this number, one of 29 of these cars. The likelihood of you ever running into this same exact car is almost like getting hit by lightning, which is one in one billion, gazillion, gazillion, whatever that number may be. The reason I say that is this, is this is a survivor. Almost all of this car is original. The mileage, most of all the paint, the interior, the carpets, like all of this stuff in here uh, is original. A couple things have been updated over time because they just didn't survive time. For instance, the door panels. The door panels, uh, you can just see, are just slightly nicer than the interior, but uh, the rest of the interior you would not have known unless I told you. So that's a pretty nice compliment to the car, right? It has a new convertible top as well because it's, uh, you know, 50 years later, uh, these tops would not have survived that. But other than that, we're going to walk around and see like wearable items, wipers, brake pads, stuff like that. Maybe that stuff's been changed along the way, but we have the original engine, transmission, rear end, all these gazillion parts that are still original on the car. This is a cool piece of history that you could take to a car show and uh, be so proud of. So we're going to spend some time looking at the originality of it. I love these call outs on the hood. We have a couple pieces that we want to discuss with you. I'm sure that you're going to want to uh, own this car by the time we're done the video. And I'm going to ask you if you want me to replace these couple parts that are original. They still look really nice, but uh, they're original. So you can make that decision. All right, so code 70 is uh, flame orange. This is a 70 coated car. So the trim tag matches that with the saddle leather deluxe interior too, right? Not vinyl, leather. So like this was an expensive car when you think about it. First off, it was a convertible. Uh, it had the L82. Uh, the four speed was extra. The leather was extra. Like lots of extra stuff on this car. We even have a hard top that we're gonna show you that goes with the car as well. So this is a two top car. It may have been perhaps a dealer promotional car as well because a lot of times they would order it with all this equipment on it so, it, uh, so the customers could see what they could get. This paint on this car is almost all original. We've had uh, most of it checked. And I like to show you that it still has some great shine. You go to a car show, you can still read all of those words and all of those things in there. Nice crisp letters uh, showing you uh, exactly what you're getting there. I like to do the video because you know you can manipulate pictures, uh, but video shows you exactly what it is. Look at the ceiling inside here. You can see all of the lights in there. You can see the glow of the car. It's just really, really nice. And if you want to uh, go to a show, especially pulling there at night in this color car, it is spectacular. A lot of our clients will buy a car from us and they're happy with just getting a great car to drive. They don't really care what's under the hood and I'm happy with that too. But if you're interested in what's under the hood and you're wanting to go to a car show or something like that, this right here is a game changer. I'll share with you why. Let's look at some of what's original in here and what is not, all right? So uh, what most people don't know is uh, cowl induction comes in very different forms. And what does cowl induction mean, right? Because you see people spell it wrong all the time. Cowl induction means that the cowl, which is right here, okay, is where the air comes in. And that's exactly how a Corvette works here. You say, Tone, how is that possible? It comes in these little vents here? No, actually it does not come in these vents. What it does is it hits the windshield and turbulence brings it right inside here, ram air into this pocket, which drives it right into this sealed air cleaner. So check that out. This sealed air cleaner here, right, goes up against here, keeping rain out. Uh, and then the fresh air comes in here. And if any water got in, there's drain holes right inside there, okay? This has the ignition shielding on it still. Very rare do you see any cars anymore with this. You know why? Because this whole setup right here is very expensive. Most people forego that because when they're restoring a car, uh, it's too much. This is not a restored car. This has kind of its original bones. Here's another thing. This still has the smog pump on it with the smog still here. You're going to go to a show. You're going to get judged. That's an important piece of that. And it's a very expensive piece to buy right now and make this system all work. Uh, the original intake manifold is on here. The original exhaust manifolds are on here. Original stickers are still in place. The only upgrade under the hood here uh, is the radiator. So we would have to decide whether you wanted to go ahead and paint that aluminum radiator black because it's 50% bigger than the stock radiator. And these cars were known for running hot. Uh, this solves that problem. Um, and if you wanted to, we could talk about uh, painting that so it looked really stock all the way through. But we put a new insulation in here so it looked nice with the right clips. All of it's detailed and painted well. I think that we'd be very proud to go to a car show, open the hood, and people go, wow, 
it's been a long time since they've seen uh, an L82. All right, so I like to talk about styling back here for a reason because it's funny, all right? And the reason it's funny is this, is because if I was to remove this emblem, right, 99% of the world would know right away this is a Corvette. There is no mistaking this for a Chevy Vega or a Ford Mustang. This is a Corvette all the way through. The Coke bottle design of this body, you should spend a second and just look at the body and lines of these cars. That's why they're so popular. They are a spectacular engineering and artistic drawing of an automobile uh, that's lasted for so long, continuing to go up in value. Why? Because they're great looking. We are talking about low production here, and we are talking about a highly optioned car as well. Um, not to mention, if you see the pictures from underneath, it's nicely detailed back there. This makes a great sound, and you'd be very surprised. This car is super fast. I was really surprised going down the road thinking, you know, it's a 70s vintage Corvette, maybe not much under there. The L82 is a game changer. All right, so you walk up to your beautiful car and you go, man, I love this car. And I say this to you, while the outside of the car is so great, you're going to spend some time inside. And that's what I want to do with you for a second right now. And let's get in here and check that out. All right. So uh, do you wonder if you're six feet plus, if you can fit? Well, the answer is yes, because uh, I'm 6'1". I got a lot of room in here. Uh, we can also lower the seat if you needed to. Uh, we can also go back just a couple more inches as well. So we can make lots of room in these cars for people. This is so nice because I always feel like the Corvette was built like a, with a guy sat in a seat and a girl, I should say, I say a person, right? A person sat in a seat, they were holding the wheel and they built the car around them, right? Because everything just fits like, right? And when I'm looking at a restoration, I like to talk about some things that, that get overlooked that are a big deal. For instance, the footwell lighting is working, okay? Why is that a big deal? You say, Tone, it's a bulb. What could, what could that possibly matter, right? And I say, well, you know what? If you're restoring a car, a lot of people skip that step. Nice original cars that are taken care of, that still works. The clock, still working, right? This right here, the door ajar light, still working, right? These are little things that a lot of restorations take shortcuts on. You know what? You're going to look at another car, maybe compare it to this car right here. Ask if all those things work. Does the key and buzzer work when you turn on the car when the car is in reverse and the door is open? Yes, right? This works, right? Why? Because this is a well taken care of, low mileage, original piece of history that's, uh, that the customer you know, that owned it before knew exactly, just sweeping a little dust off there, uh, knew exactly what he had. And he took care of it. It was his baby and soon to be someone else's. Hopefully it's yours. Okay, a couple pieces we talked about earlier was, do you want to replace any of these? This is the original wood grain that was here. Uh, it's slightly tarnished and I don't think it's in great shape. However, it's original, so uh, we could order a new one and give you this one to keep. Um, we could leave it just the way it is, and you could say it's 50-year-old uh, wood, uh, whatever you want, but I think, it's a, I think it's really nice. Lastly, this car is meant to drive. It's meant to go fast. It's four-wheel disc brakes. It's four-wheel independent suspension. It's a 160-mile-an-hour speedometer and a 7,000 RPM tack. This is a serious, serious sports car. And you think it's a Corvette sports car. I didn't really think of it like that. Well, it's a 100% sports car because it has all the things that every European sports car copied from it, or we copied from them, shared back and forth with a great V8 under the hood. All right, so this is a special part of the car. This is the hard top. You say, well, Tone, I said, that's nice. Is it a big deal? Well, I'm gonna tell you 100%, it's a huge deal. It has a huge amount of value, not to mention that's fine, and I don't really care about the value of it. I care about what it does to the car, and that is change the look of the car completely. When the top is up in here and you have the convertible top up, it's a black, it's a convertible, you can tell exactly what it is. And then if you want to, you put this on and you now have a hard top sports car, right? Completely different look because this is painted, right? And the other one is black vinyl, cool piece. And then on top of it, uh, it's still in incredible condition inside, right? Bolts on there, makes the car super tight inside, a lot quieter. Uh, and we will also throw in the rack if you'd like us to, just ask. Uh, if you don't ask us to, we will not. But anyway, it's uh, in super great shape, super nice condition, and really, really usable. All right, so we closed up this video. We talked about a lot of stuff. If you don't mind, let me recap some real stuff here, right? This is a, this is a car that I've only, we've only had one of. We've had over 5,000 cars come through here. This is the only one we've ever had like it. Flame orange, four-speed, L82 convertible matching numbers all the way through, real survivor car, in spectacular, spectacular condition, two tops, right? Uh, I don't know, I get excited about this because you know what, I've been watching these cars back when they were, didn't have a lot of value and now they're really getting their, their, 
their kudos for what a great car they are. And I'm watching them go up in value as we, as we watch and go over time. So what a cool hobby where you can get a cool car like this, a great driving car like this, a car you could go away on the weekend if you wanted to in it, right? Which is even more fun than going away in your daily driver. And not that your daily driver is not great, this is just different. Anyway, call us, 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this uh, cool Corvette convertible, L82 four-speed. And uh, if you don't mind, hit the like button down below. It helps get our message out there. Share it with your friends. They might like it as well. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. we got new stuff coming out all the time. And I'll see you on the test drive. Let me tell you, this car, feel the handling of this thing. Wow. You know what? You can't be uh, angry with a 70s vintage Corvette convertible because it handles well, especially the L82 with a little extra juice. Wow, this is surprising. And it's so original. Listen to this. We're on a bumpy road, no rattles. You know why? Because it's all kind of an original style car. Don't know what's been changed on it, but man, it's super tight still. They're only original ones, and there's a reason why original cars always bring more money uh, than restored cars. I guess the factory knew how to put them together. Wow, this is nice. And a nice sound too, right? You think, oh, 75, man, that can't have any sound, can't have any power. Wrong, and eh, wrong, and. Eh. Smile, Baker. That's what we got right now. This is the kind of car, man, you go away for the weekend, you go out in the country, you go for a drive, turn off the radio. It's just an original ride back to 75. Like, like real quick, like the stock radio is there. The clock is there working like it's supposed to. All the gauges are functioning like they're supposed to. The tack is rising up and down the speedometer. The sound is good. The, the click, click of the shifter. What a nice sound. 